When you purchase SBI Valve Train components, that blue and yellow box represents 40 years of industry knowledge, R&D, quality that exceeds OEM standards, and outstanding customer service, as well as a dedicated team, ready to help no matter your application needs. That's how SBI keeps engines humming. Jeff Alenko, Diesel Performance here for another Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, we still are going to do some more on girdles uh, in our last episode. So we've got this Duramax here going together. It's got a Waggler uh, steel girdle on it. And wanted to show something that a lot of people might not think about until it's too late and waste a bunch of time. Anytime you're using a girdle that uh, either extends out to the pan rail, like this one, so it got the entire perimeter of the block, or even on a, a Cummins, if it just has the factory stifter plate bolt holes that it uses or on the perimeter, you always, before you torque your main studs down and you tighten your girdle to the block, make sure you're starting some bolts for your oil pan, your oil uh, pump pickup tube, uh, all the way around, okay? You want to have some bolts in the front cover of the gear housing and the rear cover. And as I said, oil pan pickup tube bolts, very important. Uh, Put the bolts in there, just you know, hand tight, or you know, starting by hand. And then before you torque your studs, check and make sure you're centered. Because as you can see here, there's a fair amount of wiggle room on this girdle. Uh, you know, unless you have like a like a beans girdle where it's dialed to the caps, these girdles will move around. And what happens is you throw it on there, you don't think about it, and then you go to put your oil paint on when your engine's pretty well built and your RTV set up, and now the holes won't line up. Or we've had some instances where the oil pump pickup tube bolts wouldn't line up and we had to take the girdle off, go to the mill and you know, drill holes out or slot them. So, and going back with that, always test fit it first. I've already had this together, so I knew it worked, but you want to test fit it before you put your RTV in, it's too late. Slide it on, test fit it, check some bolts. Again, your oil pump pickup tube, very important. Make sure everything's going to work. Put your RTV, set it on there, start your bolts and go. So again, as you can see, all these will move by hand. You can visually look, make sure that you're centered. You know, look from front to rear, make sure that it's centered and uh, that you're happy with it. And then you can run your bolts down. So. So go around and check them all again. I see my pickup two bolts snugged up a little bit. So we'll go back and do some adjusting and make sure we're happy with it. But as you can see, this here is getting tight and binding. So you know it's dragging. This one doesn't want to turn by hand. So that's why you want to do this. So thanks for watching.